Hi everybody, this is Lisa Solonenko from CWP Network, and I just wanted to do a quick video uh, discussing using high pass filter in Photoshop in order to sharpen and soften your images. Uh, there's other third party filters, plugins, etc. that are there for retouching, especially portrait photography. However, I find that using the high pass for sharpening and softening is actually, it has, gives you more control and is a lot more effective. So we're going to quickly run through how you achieve the sharpening with using high pass. Okay, first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate your layer and we're going to go filter, other, and high pass. Now you'll notice it's all gray and you can see some color coming through. For high resolution images, I recommend a setting between 3 and 6. And uh, as long as you're not getting too much haloing, then it's a good setting. Uh, but we'll be able to do a lot of adjustments as we go. Okay, so you hit OK. Now the one thing you'll notice is that you can see some of the color from her lips and things coming through. So best practice would be to desaturate this filter. So we don't end up having any any possibility of color contamination. So it's desaturated and then we're going to change the blending mode to overlay. Now what you're seeing is the application of the filter to the entire image. So we take that off and that was the original and this is with the sharpening. Now I don't like to do any filter effect to an entire image. I like to selectively do that. So what I do is I put a mask and I will paint that mask black so that the effect of the filter has been masked out. And then I go back with my paintbrush and I paint back in and I reveal what I would like to show through. So, I want that sharpening to affect the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth, and the tip of the nose, as well as the hair around the face. And it does a really, really good job sharpening up that edge detail. There we go. Now, uh, if you find that the sharpening is a little bit too much, you just use your opacity to bring it up or bring it down until you like it. Now, high pass softening. This, uh, all the softening software and plugins out there, sometimes people overdo it and it it can make people look very porcelain skinned. Now high pass is going to give you more control so that you can really see what's happening and control what's happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a stamp of these two layers. Shift, Control, Alt, and E. And that will merge these layers into its own layer. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the high pass. Now we want to do the opposite. To the sharpening. So what we're going to do is we're going to double whatever the sharpening number was there and about. So I don't normally go past 10. Okay, so here we are. Now it's even more extreme. Uh, again, we can see the color from the lips. So let's desaturate. There we go. And we're going to go again, do an overlay. Actually, before we do the overlay, I want to show you. There we go. Okay, now in order to do the opposite, we need to invert the layer. Okay, so now you can see when we were doing uh, the high pass sharpening, uh, certain edges were dark and certain edges were light. We did that again and now it's been reversed. The light parts are now dark and the dark parts are now light. Okay, so now let's see what it's done. Put it to overlay. And wow, look at that, all soft and diffused and everything. Way too much, however, but we're going to adjust that and fix that. First thing you do is 
we're going to lower the opacity 50 under 50 whatever you think however however much you want to have that softness injected into your image now again I don't like to have a filter affect my entire image so I will go back and I will mask it and get rid of the entire effect and then I will get my white paintbrush and I will bring it where I want the effect to happen so I'm gonna bring it on the forehead on the cheeks and on the chin and on this cheek and under the eyes and this part of the nose and make my brush smaller so I can get in here and under the eyes there we go now what it's done is it's just evened out the skin tones evened out the lights and the darks and softened up the pores a little bit now this is not a crazy amount uh, where it looks like it's been retouched and and I rather like that and then you can still go with your opacity and change the opacity and you can see the effect and we've all seen that in third-party software that's for sure so we're gonna bring it down and here we are with the before before the sharpening and the softening and the after very very subtle but very nice and we have complete control and even when you're painting back into the mask you can lower the opacity of your brush and selectively do it that way as well now um, in order to make it really really simple and fast the best way the best thing you can do is create actions for yourself and have a high pass sharpen action and a high pass soften action and just create stops where you need to input numbers so that you can adjust them that's all there is to it I hope uh, I've provided you with a new way to sharpen and soften your images in Photoshop and one that might give you um, a little bit more control if you have any questions pop on by CWP Network and we'll be happy to help you out bye bye